Hello there, guys and girls. This is Russian Prince Winery for Let's Play episode of Italy. Now we're gonna go for even more uh, harassment, so to speak. Yeah, we gotta deal with all, all those Dutch troops that are being created. I don't like those. Don't like those at all. Okay, so here, Utrecht, Breda. All these are amazing uh, provinces. So we're gonna go for Aachen up here. We actually need more troops to deal with the Russians. We're not taking them very seriously at this point. I'm not sure exactly why we're not doing that, but now that's gonna change significantly. Oh, Poland is actually starting to become bigger. But this attack here is actually going very well for us. We barely may win. No, we lost. And we lost the full stack. You see, they never lose full stacks, but we do. What is this? What is this? Yeah, that was not good at all. That was not good at all, that battle. It's too costly. Way too costly. And the Frenchies are actually coming in to siege us. The Frenchies have actually regained themselves. Look at the amount of troops the enemy has. You see, this is the problem. It's an infinite... How should I put it? Infinite coalition war. Like, they never... No matter how many times you beat it down, it's always going to be back and bigger. Which is kind of annoying. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to deal with that. And it's giving us lots of horse score. As it really should. They thought they had the upper hand, but... They didn't. Not at all. So can we go for this? Because we really want to get out of this war so we can have more troops available. Okay, 13k. Say goodbye to your troops. Here, yes. Say goodbye to your troops indeed. Okay, keep them in Lombardia. We gotta deal with those stacks here. And we can't stop those stacks up there as well at the same time. The thing is, we have fewer stacks right now. Is that stupid thing? And we lost one general too. We have to recruit another. General is... Who's... Oh, this leader died. Okay, so which one is better? This guy is better. Clearly. Okay, so... What are they gonna attack? Okay, go up here. Nope, not the good engagement at all. Okay, let's go destroy them. Uh, let's wait here. Yep, destruction was instant almost. How about... I'm gonna send this one right there. I'm gonna send this one here, here. Get rid of them. Oh, 41k. Clearly can't deal with them right now. Uh, right, 22nd. Okay, I can't attack there. Then. Oof. When are they gonna go for me? Oh, apparently now, which... It's fine for me, fine by me. Let's go down here, defend, and crush the Frenchies. They might actually support with more troops, but if they do that, it might be bad for them. And we won, giving us a lot of... Yeah, that's actually amazing, that battle that we just won right there. We won kill next, though. As for the East, we don't really need to bother about that. We just need to worry about the rest. Still not attacking us at this point, which I guess it's not the biggest of deals. We gotta go for burn. Make sure that we get everything back. Have to unsiege our territory because the sieges are really hurting us. Sieges are really, really hurting us. CB against Poland, okay. okay do it here. Religious unity is almost maxed. Advisors. Oh, we lost all these advisors. Let's go for trade efficiency. Let's go for plus two here as well what can we go for up here doesn't really help much tax assessor we have we actually have some of that so that could be a problem later on lost claim on neumark doesn't matter though it doesn't east is fine even if they take more of it it's not gonna be a big deal a shia they actually have some rebels up there okay oh they attacked me here i gotta support right the hell now can I get there in time? Uh, actually, we didn't get there in time. But they have low morale. Can I get there before they get the morale back up? Can I get there as well? Oh, that was such terrible engagement by me. I don't even know. Don't even know why I tried all the way over there. Should not even have worried about that. Well, what if we go for Cone? France is making gains. Okay, whatever you think. Whatever you say, brother. Whatever you say, Franz, because it's not the case. You're not making any gains at all. 
in this war. In fact, you're getting losses. Getting losses. Making losses. Well, actually, they did win a few battles, but they should think that it's still not something they can win, clearly. Let me deal with the staff, please. Oh, oh. I go down there and I have to get there really quickly before my stack dies. Hopefully it survives for long enough. That's my that's my hope. So we don't want Vienna. Yeah, we can go for it. But it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to get there in time, can we? No, we could not. Why? Are they chasing us? Yes, they are. They're chasing us. Okay. They can keep trying to chase us then, if that's what they think is gonna win them the battles. Okay, so they they went up here, but it's not gonna go well for them. This battle is an overextension for sure. But we gained so much war score because of that. Clearly, it was bad. It was terrible. Well, we want to go for Vienna, though. Yeah, go for Vienna. And here in the east, not looking too good, but it's not really a problem either. Yeah, some rebels popped up. They got crushed immediately. All this admin power. Mm, let's go for some boosting before we try to get the technology first. Because extra stability is always good. In terms of troops, still have way more than we do. But is it going to be for long? No. And we want Vienna much faster though than this, because this is bad how long it's actually taking. Yeah, we have Vaud, but we don't have all. So Danzig, we lost Danzig, that's okay. It's still okay. Okay, kill the Dutch there, exactly what we needed. Ooh, lots of Frenchies up here, but this, this leader though, look at him, he's 564. Now, if we go for Vienna as well, this is going to be 41. We can still go for more, though. Well, we go for Charolais. We can try and get that province from the Frenchies, right? We can try it. Yeah, they lost 2k. They still have way more, which is insane that they can have even more than that. Well, let them try and attack and see how effective it is going to be to win a battle against us. Okay, no maintenance, can we go for extra culture changes? Yes, definitely something that is possible. And we can go for. This burn has now been unseiged, clearly what we needed. Down here, more rebels actually, we have to get rid of them. Ooh, 48k, they're actually gonna unseige that if I'm not quick enough. So this siege here has to go much faster if we want to do anything. Whatever. Oh, they attacked here? Alright, but how is it why is it even so successful? They don't have Oh we got terrible rolls. Now it makes more sense. If we take Charolais. If we take an old treaties with let's say Russia. Fine, why not? And we took so much as well. This is great. We took a lot from the Dutch. And taking from the Dutch is nice because they have amazing provinces. Yep, all of those now, of course. Really, what we needed. Was it Spain that announced me as a new rival? No. <laughs> Lost so many CDs. Influence and next our vassal here. Yes. Extra goods production, because why not? This guy is insane. Let's send him, send a not so good general down there, because it's not as important to have a great general against the Ottomans. The Ottomans are pretty weak at this point. Of course, they they're just a thorn in the side. That's all. As for the other dudes up here, the my other subjects, they still hate me with a passion because of my aggressive expansion. Clearly, an issue for them. Gain mercantilism. That's great. Mercantilism is always great. Can we keep converting stuff? Let's see. Mm, apparently not. But look at this manpower. 
Some Patriots over here. We can deal with them without a problem. No, one of our leaders is dead. Let's hire a new one then. And get him here. And get a new stack. Oh, I forgot to hire the new stack. So we need 24, right? So six here. Six here. Now let's get four cav somewhere. Let's get five artillery, five artillery, five artillery, and five artillery. Should take a while, but still. Okay, what can we do with our admin pal? We're gonna wait till we build this. Oh no. Now the things start coming in. Yay! This is great now. Revolts somewhere? Where are the revolts? Okay, this we don't really don't care about this navy. Go down here, send them back up. Revel in the glory, yes. Even more prestige. Always wonderful to see. Wow, that aggressive expansion is so high that we may never be able to annex them. Which would be an unfortunate thing for sure. Oh wow, they there's actually a stack here, 42k. Gonna send our leader with an epic general. Russia's left the military coalition against us. Well, definitely they know why they should leave the coalition against us. Because we are scary. Very scary. Okay, lose prestige because it's something we can gain back up without an issue. Okay, okay, okay. Have so much military power that we have to go for the military idea, isn't it right? Yes. Aristocratic, even that then. Alright, national manpower modifier. We're gonna get even more of that, okay? <laughs> like we need it. Like we need it. Send stacks up here. We should have an army ready up here, I think. Yeah, it looks almost ready. 48k. Definitely the amount we need. Now get the General Ascano Maria Paleologi Monferrato. Wow, long name for sure. So, what are we gonna go for next? Fabricated claim here. On, on, on. Breiskow. Breiskow, yes. And here on the Dutch. Let's fabricate a claim on. Well, let's go for 444. Limburg. Limburg. And here on Cologne. Oh. No possible. <laughs> uh, Liege, there maybe, maybe, maybe. Where? What else can we do? Well, we can take a vineyard from uh, the French. It's an it's an okay -ish province, right? Yeah. Still want more claims though. Like we want to finish this side, make it all Italian. Like finish off Austria, finish off Netherlands. And finish off the Palatinate. But actually, the Palatinate is with us. I totally forgot about that. What am I doing? Yeah, I want Lothringen or Luxembourg. Luxembourg first and then Lothringen. But Lothringen, the order doesn't really matter at this point. Which we get first and which we get next. It's not really an issue. Now the truce will expire soon. 1749. Oh, this guy's dead. Better relations over time. Anyway, we still have one more of that guy. Those are the best guys. Change culture. Ah, whatever. Let's get the diplomatic technology going. Yeah, yeah. even more morale. So why not? Then look at this income. Conquest against. Let's go for Liege then. Well, we have to wait for our diplomats to be back. Okay, Liege here. And then it's going to be Lothringen here. Or Luxembourg, actually. Luxembourg. Then it's going to be Lotharingen. Yeah. Might as well just take so many provinces away from these guys. Okay. From France. We would want Lyonnais at some point. Or Barra. Barra. Yeah, actually, Barra would be a nice one to take. Then we encapsulate uh, Platinate within our territory. Would be funny. Barra, Barra, Barra. Yes. Well, actually, we don't need it. We only need these three. Okay. Do this. Border tensions. There's a claim on Mars. Where is actually Mars? It's somewhere in southeast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, of course it's here. Yeah. Ottomans. 
There we go. Oh. Let's go for National Manpower Modifier because it's a thing we can go for. We can also go for this, which means we can now build a tax assessor. We can go for building. Let's see, unique buildings, tax assessor. Build it in Rome because he's nice. Yearly inflation reduction. And we have so much money that we might as well build it. We do have some inflation that we need to get sorted. And also convert VN. It's going to take a while, but it's definitely something that can happen. And that we will be working on for sure. For sure. Uh, and look at this manpower. Almost 600k. Pretty insane. But we want more. Not going to stop yet. And I want pest from uh, these guys. I think. Oh, really? Some Catholic zealots. Oh, who would have thought? Now, let's see the ledger. What does it show? Well, France has sub 100k because we destroyed them in battle. Clearly, that's why Sweden has left the coalition. Finally, people are le leaving the coalition after hundreds of years of wars. But anyway, hope you guys guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, re subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google, share the video, and I shall see you next time.